Hey guys, so I'm sitting here with a couple of spectrum tubes that contain mystery elements. What are these elements? Well, we don't know yet, but that's what you're going to find out. Because you're going to use this device called a spectroscope to figure out what elements are in those tubes. Now the way it works is, there's this little slit over here. See that little slit the light's just sort of flickering through? That little slit lets light through. And then on the other side, you see that piece of plastic right there? That's called diffraction grating. And what it does is it breaks the light up into a rainbow. But elements give off individual bright lines. They don't show a whole rainbow. And those bright lines are unique to every single element. And they'll show up on this window that's right here on the front. There's actually numbers written on it that you'll be able to see from the other side. So I'm going to be having this sitting right here looking at it and I'm going to have the camera looking through that diffraction grating so you can actually draw what you see. Now in the lab it says you're going to use colored pencil but if you're going to use cami just use colored lines because you can select whatever color you want from the color palette. You can even draw blocks of color if you want to. So here's what you're going to do. On your bright line spectroscopy lab, you are simply going to draw each spectrum of each tube. The first tube, tube number one, tube number two. What is the color of the tube? So let's take a look at that now. Here's tube number one. What color would you call that? Here's tube number two. What color would you call that? And then you're going to, after you draw, you're going to identify the element. So let's say you look through the spectrum tube and you see a red line at about 7.5, uh, sorry, at 6.5. Then right about here between 600 and 700, you're gonna draw a red line. Let's say you see a green line at 5.8. Then at about 580, you'll draw a green line. Let's say you see a violet line at about 460. Then at about four points, 460 right here, draw yourself a purple line. Then with your color patterns, you will actually be provided with, I'll make sure it's included in the assignment, a color chart that you can use to identify what element you have. If you have two bright yellow lines and that's all you have, then that means you have sodium. So your bright lines should match as close as possible to these references. And I'll take a picture of this and include it so that you can use it. You're also going to get the spectrum of the sun. And for that, I will actually bring you over to those windows so you can actually draw what the sun's spectrum looks like. Okay, let's get the spectrum of the two elements to start. this chart up right here, put this chart up right here, use that to identify what your elements are. Now they may not match perfectly. There may be some lines that are on this chart that you didn't see in your spectrum. Here's why. The devices we use to make our spectroscopes, our, our spectrum, uh, the spectroscopes that we have, they are $10 plastic spectroscopes with a really wide notch on the end for the light to come in, right? The slit on the end is really, really wide. That means the image is actually out of focus, what you're seeing, which is why the lines were so wide. The spectrum chart that you're going to be comparing it to was made with spectroscopes that cost over $1,000 that actually use razor's edges as close together as possible to get the narrowest lines possible. So there may be two lines next to each other that are blended when you look through your spectroscope that are next to each other when you look at the spectrum chart.
Okay, now let's get the spectrum of the sun. Do the best you can, submit it, and if it's correct, great. If not, I'll say, nope, try again, and you can go ahead and try it again. All right, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Spectroscopy Lab.